We're back again with Zanziar with the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, the Human Trill Leg. This was, I think, is the final leg, unless some, uh, or final portion of this leg, I'm sorry, if, um, if nothing weird happens to make it so that, um, it's down to two. I don't know how that could happen in this game. I think there's always going to be one clear winner, unlike Betrayal at the House on the Hill. And it seems like we're getting down to the wire. The stories are really starting to come together. I think a lot of the first videos in this leg were just kind of showing the game and what the game is like. Um, but now I think it's really become a lot more about the story. So we have Chopper here, the Dragon Slayer, running for his life. We have Sweet Pea, the, the Conqueror, who's just taking over the the world and then snug bug down in the corner uh snug and secure and searching for something uh, so let's just get right to it All right, so chopper has a big decision to make so before he goes let's kind of uh, before he moves let's kind of uh before he makes the decision let's kind of uh make the, the talk out his choice so here he is here in this forest um really anywhere he goes he can't he can't move very far. Um, the ghost of Torvard has no movement special capabilities. Uh, Odrix the Chancellor does, but basically his capability makes it so he can pass through mountains. He um, normally people have to use all their movement to go to a mountain, um, and then they have to go back the way they came. He can go, you know, continue, but he still can only move one space into the mountains. Um, same with the forest, he can move only one space into the forest. They could go to this adventure space and hope to get some boon there. That's kind of a shot in the dark. They could go to Nafid and um, recruit. That might not be a bad move. Um, they could could go to one of these other towns. Uh, Nafid would probably be their best bet for recruitment, uh, and it also take them closer to um, Derek the Dragon Warrior, who's the only one left in Chopper's group that still has some good people, uh, still has an army left. Uh, of that army, an um, important piece of that army is Morgan of Zirconia. Morgan of Zirconia gives every gives the entire group plus one to movement and also allows them to fly. Now, I don't know what flight does. It doesn't say in the book. Fly as a spell gives you a bonus to your retreat roll I showed you that because that's where it lists what the spells do. Um, but that doesn't make sense in the context of this sentence here. It says you give, you can fly up to two units with it. Um, so what I believe it makes it so you can do is you can just move with, and what makes sense to me is you can move without taking into account terrain effects. Um, so that's how I'm, I plan to use it. Um, and maybe allow him to use the fly spell as well. Uh, when it comes to if if they want to escape, but it just doesn't make sense with this up to two units thing with the plus two that because because the the fleeing roll you know you just roll and that's how many you get to escape with so it it just doesn't make any sense um, as a spell so that so he could fly down to Pelagros and they could meet up in Pelagros and you know take a stand there um, he also has this Baron Gunter who's just hanging around. Um, Gunter, he could use Gunter to try and slow up the, f the advancing forces. There's um, Grisbrug here, and there's um, Honeypot there. I think I forgot to move Grisbrug, actually. Yeah, he teleported. He's, he's here. Right, yeah, so they're right there. So he could use Gunter to attack one of them to slow them down, or um, move into an intervening space so that they would have to um, so how that would work is he could move Gunter, say, to Pelagros, move Odrix and Ghost of Torvard up there, and then they would have to either move through the forest, which takes longer, or move through Pelagros, um, which would take less time, but then they would have to be stopped by Gunter. Uh, Gunter could decide to attack them. Uh, so those are his choices. We'll see what Chopper chooses. Chopper chose a complicated path, so I'm not actually done resolving everything yet, but I thought I'd give you an update so I can kind of remember what's happening. So first he had the Baron Gunter try to recruit in Rog. Um, this is a rather weird move. Um, he, he failed. It was kind of a long shot. And then he disbanded the Baron Gunter so that he could have, some, he could have another, um, another group going. I'm not sure on the legality of this move, but I'm letting it go. Um, I don't know if you can just disband someone 
but I I feel like you can. I don't I don't know. It it's not like it makes a lot of sense that you wouldn't be, you know in in the terms of this world that you wouldn't be able to have more than three guys. I think it's more of a, a book bookkeeping balance thing. So as such, I'm gonna allow it. Uh, then he allow uh, he split the the group of Morgan of Zirconia and Derek the Dragon Warrior sent the horse the flying horse over to Nafid to meet up with. Um, Audrix and the Ghosts of Torvard, their group might join up, might merge, and might not. They are going to have an opportunity to um, recruit first if they want. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of units show up in Nafid, and how, how things progress kind of depends on that. Then Derek, uh, the Dragon Warrior, went to this adventure space, so I guess we will resolve that now, see what his little adventure is. Archmage's Tower, that's not good. <sighs> That's gonna turn someone into pigs. I mean, I don't think this is a this is a particularly annoying adventure. I think, but we're gonna. And the only thing you get is the curse spell. You just get a spell if you win, and if you lose, oh, I guess you get hurt, and then he teleports you somewhere. Okay, he doesn't just turn you into pigs. I thought it was another one that where you just you have to face a really hard thing and do pigs. Um, someone has to go, so that's going to be Derek the Dragon Warrior. Um, he fails. There's no way he can beat a nine. Uh, change you to, yeah, it has to be a magical duel, I think. Yep. All right, so there's no way he can beat a nine. Uh, so he's going to get teleported. D6. So one space, I'm assuming, in a random direction. Might be where he wants to go. Let's see. One, that is not where he wants to go. It's going to teleport him into these woods. It's kind of a uninteresting turn for right now, but he also takes the damage. Really rough shake of luck for um, Chopper. First of all, the, the units that came up aren't very strong, not the ones he would want to, to find. Though they, you know, they have some good con, which we've seen can be uh, better than you might think in a battle. Um, but he failed in all of his attempts to recruit. So he's just going to have to bring all of his forces together here and see if he can hold the fort. Traveling south here, um, the madman ran across a local beauty. She tried to um, lure the madman from Sweet Pea, but I, uh, I think he, he proved his loyalty. He, his heart or something belongs to Sweet Pea. Spurred her advances, which basically meant that he's going to stay with Sweet Pea. And, not stay local. Uh, and the battle is about to begin. Uh, Sweet Pea changed up her group. She actually, a lot, most of these forces were with Honey Pot, but she sent them in with Grisberg, the Orc Shaman. He's a bit stronger for the most part. He's he's uh, more sensitive. If he gets hit at all, he's gone. Or she, no he. Um, but yeah, has a fairly balanced force. She has magic, con, and combat. Um, Chopper went all with combat, so we'll see how that works. This is going to be his 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 last hurrah, perhaps. Um, he is going to start with attempting to to talk his way out of it with his chancellor. So I'll do that roll. I guess I can just do that right in front of you. Okay, he has a ten, and they have a total of four, six, nine already. Yeah, so there's no way unless they roll a one, and it's a four. Ooh, we had a four before in diplomacy. So the the, the round is going to happen. The battle is going to happen. Grusberg is going to start things off for Sweet Pea's side. She's going to get two different attempts before Chopper can even do anything with the combat. Um, so she's going to do magic. Would love to do it against Odrix the Chancellor. Odrix the Chancellor is immune, however, and incidentally, heroes are immune to con attacks. So he's he's not going to be able to be affected until it gets to the straight up combat. Um, so here we go. Is going to who does she want to do magic against? Um, probably not Morgan of Zirconia, because Morgan has some magic, so a little bit more defense than the other people. Same with the second Legion of Gori. Um, Ghost of Tovard might be tempting. Might be able to take Ghost of Tovard out. Because his health, I'm going to read it as his health is, well, no, I'm going to read it as supernaturally, so that he's at 8 right now, because there's a Valerian unit. Um, but his health is still at 6. And the seasoned Nori mercenaries. Maybe she wants to take out the ghost of Torvard. Let's let her try that. Okay, so it's going to be five plus 
that's eight against eight against five. That's only three. Not bad. Um, but he's still clinging on. Now it's going to be con. So they have four. They can con any anyone they want. Who do they want to con? They, again, they'd like to con him, <laughs> but he's immune to that. I think they're going to try and con Morgan of Zirconia. Um, so. See, so they have four, and they don't have quite the commanding Khan lead as they did when she was attacking with Khan before. This might actually bite her in the butt, but we'll see. Four, that's ten, that's a very good roll. And Morgan is only gonna, has three. So I'm pretty sure that's something. Let's see, the target joins the battle on the side of the unit trying the Khan for this round. So Morgan is gonna shift over right now. Um, not very stalwart companion. Seems like, you know, if you get this horse, you would be like, yeah, Falcor. But no, Morgan of Zirconia is a backstabber. All right, now it's the big, big fight. So this side, do they get any bonuses? When fighting with an Angori. They're, they are outnumbered, so they get a plus one, the fifth legion I'm talking about. So they're at 10. Um, all right, 10, 15. Um, uh, sorry, 22 versus uh, 16, 21, 27, 27 against 22. So they got the, oh, nice, 33, ooh, against 28. So they're only going to take five and then divvy it up. I think she's going to make the horse take it all, so Morgan of Zirconia. <laughs> is dead. That's pretty wicked. Uh, but that's what you do when you charm someone in these fantasy games. So there's going to be another round. I don't think you get to try diplomacy again. I'm going to check on that and come back. Yeah, no diplomacy. So Chopper has to decide whether he wants to run away. Um, now he has them out fought at the front lines, just like usual, but it's these back lines that are going to cause him problems. So Grisberg could probably take out the ghost, um, which would leave him with 13. 19 against 16 and then if they con someone else he's in some trouble i think you know being chopper i kind of i kind of always imagine him like on the run from the law like on the road you know um kind of looks like you can see the the wind blowing through his hair um make hay while the sun shines yeah i don't i think he wants to escape so he can cause more trouble um, I, it's, this is a tough call for me and him. I feel like I could see him just kind of like wanting to keep keep on it, but I like the idea of Odrix the Chancellor, like just hanging on and running away. So he's going to run. Um, too bad he doesn't have Morgan to help him. And we'll see how many of his units get to get away. Three. And so Ghost of Torvard, I think, is going to stay behind. <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. Um, and see which direction he goes. This could matter a lot. Because I don't know. I, you maybe are supposed to do all your movement first. But I didn't do it that way. So she can still move another unit after all this. Move straight up into the woods. There he goes. And this marker's gone. And using that teleport spell, Sweepy is pursuing him. I think she might be behaving a little desperately. Um, or a little obsessively, just not letting him get a, get get away. I mean, she looks outgunned here. Um, anyway, he is going to... I think Chopper's not even going to try to talk her out of it. I think he's going to... Well, maybe. I mean, he's got this Chancellor. It seems like the Chancellor would be... But I think he wants to take a bite out of her. But she could weaken him up with the magic. And that could make it so that he would be weaker, you know, once they're pursuant. Though he does have an open shot to Basilia, which is where he controls, so he has at least one unit there. So there are some reinforcements, and he could get more reinforcements there. Does he want to try the fight? I feel like he would like to take a chunk out of her after all of that. But is it wise for him? I think he's gonna you know, try. He's thinking of face and the A team, so that's a six. It's maybe not a choice. There's four, so she gets a three or higher. That's a one. He he talked him out of it, um, which I guess is kind of annoying to her because it made her waste that teleport spell. 
take us away from all that drama, Snugbug has another issue that he's dealing with. And like, um, I think it's true with many great empires, uh, that that issue is still dealing with Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea's basically taking on both of the others right now. Um, so he's been kind of hanging out in the south here, trying to uh, get items, right, and he's explored all these mines. Um, now Sweet Pea's sending some forces down. Now, it, it we haven't really visited this in a while, but Snugbug only has three units, and one is face down. <laughs> and so we can presume that's his hero, right, because he doesn't have any unit cards stashed anywhere else. He doesn't own any towns. The dog, despite being able to find items, is and actually looks like bigger than everyone else, is not um, a combatant can't do anything for a fight. Um, so, though I think actually during a fight the dog can try to look for an item. We'll let him do that. So what does he want to do? Does he want to try and take on the madman? I mean the madman's got a full group, doesn't even know what, what's in it, or does he want to run away? I think we know he wants to run away. He's gonna run here to this adventure space um, and see what he gets. A female dragon's lair. Ah, look at those numbers. Those are very high. Uh, the requirements vary. The adventuring character is female. Subtract three from both. Okay, well that still just makes it seven. You get two items if you f you succeed. Um, and if you fail, one point of damage. Each point you fail by. One point of damage, so she's probably going to die. Uh... She's got to beat a 7 or higher. Actually, she could do it, because I don't think they actually get a roll on this. Yeah, I think she has to beat a 7. Um, she's going to roll a d6. If she gets a 5 or better, she's good. And that's a 3. So she's go she lost by... She has 5. They have 7. So she's lost by 2. She 2 damage. She's just barely alive. God, these adventures, man, they are harsh. Back to Chopper's turn again. He got a chance to respond to Sweet Pea's assault. Um, he did so by heading up to Basilia, sure enough. Uh, took some reinforcements there and also did some recruiting. Um, in Derek the Dragon Warrior news, Derek the Dragon Warrior traveled here and found that there was a bunch of swamps and it hurt his squad of Dwarven Warriors. So that was not good for him. Sweet Pea's in another battle, but not against Chopper. Um, she sent Grisberg the Orc Shaman, which was her strongest group in the West, against the forces of Naphet. She's not chasing after him, at least with that group. Um, she's yet to show what she's going to do with Honeypot. So I'll go ahead and resolve that off camera. And her Honeypot group went to Bugged and used diplomacy to take over the whole town. Um, she's still within striking distance of um, Odrix the Chancellor, however, because she does have one more use of the teleport spell left. So it's not clear whether or not she's given up on that. And Orin the, the Skald, the madman's news, he went down to Bratazar and didn't do very much there. And Snugbug moved away to the edge of the world. And with that, that's going to do it. Very exciting for me. I have to tell you, I thought for sure... For sure, not for sure, but I was I was reasonably certain that Chopper was going to be eliminated this turn. It seemed like he was, uh, yeah, Sweet Pea was hot on his heels. She had two forces coming at him. It didn't seem like there was a lot he could do until I really, died, you know, started to think about it. And I came up with some, some things he could do and that he would do that uh, managed to get him out of the situation. He's not quite out of it yet, and I think... You know, if he's he's still very much like in her grasp. If she had wanted to squeeze on her last turn, she could have. But she has something else in mind, and I wonder if it doesn't have something to do with her own personal goals. Um, you know, she was heading over to Hagen with most of her forces, not necessarily just to get Chopper. I mean, she did send some forces also after Snugbug, but not as many. She she put the majority, sent them west. Maybe Chopper was just in the wrong place at the the, the wrong time. Or maybe not. Maybe she is trying to destroy everyone and just, you know, wanted to build back up again after um, maybe a, a near defeat. Um, but definitely very interesting. I like the whole chase that's happening between Snugbug and the Madman. The Madman's, you know, with a much larger army chasing after Snugbug. But neither of them has a movement advantage right now. No one has, um, 
people that help them move. I think the madman ha does have the shepherds. So if it, if it ended up in the mountains, which they're nowhere near the mountains, he could he could definitely catch up then. But you know the shepherds don't don't give you any advantage in the forest. Um, so it could be that you know it's just they're going to keep running until one of them gets tired and decides to do something else. Uh, but that'll be next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.